Hi guys, I'm just doing a little cooking today. I am going to make some pasta dough that I'm going to roll out later. I'm making lasagna tonight for dinner and it's so much easier to do some things and prep work while my little munchkin is asleep. So it's nap time and I am going to be making some pasta dough. And just... Okay, I'm gonna go get some flour. So flour, eggs, oil, and some salt is what we're gonna be using today. Sorry about the noise, just washing my hands. This is salt, not to be mistaken for sugar, which I did do once I put salt in my tea. Long, long time ago, learnt from that. everyone doing today? What have you done today? I've already gone to boot camp this morning and came home, put my munchkin down for a nap. I'm tempted to have one too, but dinner's not going to cook itself. We're going to do two cups of plain flour or all purpose flour that um, I think some people call it. And I'm going to sift it into. Let's see if I can. You might not see me as well. I'll just. Not the best angle, sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to put two cups of flour through the sieve. this flour laid off from kneading. I'm just going to put it on my other workbench. Oh, I've got a little snowstorm happening. Let's pop that back in. Okay, so that is in there. And we are going to add a little bit of salt. Get my clock going off. A bit more than a pinch, not quite a teaspoon. I'm just kind of putting about that much in there. Put that in there. Okay. So that is our dry ingredients done, and we're just gonna stir in the salt and then make a little bit of a well in the middle, and that's where we're going to put our wet ingredients. Alright, 
right, so we've got three eggs. today. I hope you guys are all going okay and all staying safe. There's a lot going on in the world today. Or even in the last few years. I know in Australia we've had bushfires, we've had droughts, floods, corona. It has not been fun, although we haven't had that much, which of the virus to other countries, which is good because I think we kind of needed a break. So the idea is I'm going to, so about a, this isn't actually a measuring spoon, but I don't usually use measuring spoons, about a teaspoon of water and a teaspoon of oil. And the idea is, I'll just bring you back up here for a minute. I am going to make the pasta dough, so it's got to sit, sit and rest in the fridge for at least half an hour. It's going to be more than that today. If I can pile the dough, get that in the fridge, I'll see if I can work on the pasta, the bolognese sauce, before he wakes up, but it's probably not going to happen. And when my oldest son comes home from school, we will roll out the pasta dough together into lasagna sheets and we'll compile it. So I make everything from scratch. The, um, the white sauce, the, the bolognese, almost everything anyway. The, um, I use diced tomato and tomato puree and things for the bolognese, but I don't use pasta sauces or anything. They're full of salt and sugar. So I'm just going to stir the wet ingredients around. And as I do that, the flour is slowly going to add in. And then it'll form a dough, which will roll out. And when I'm happy with the dough, we're going to wrap it in cling wrap and put it in the fridge. Again, at least half an hour. So if you're just going bam, 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 then you can get it a lot earlier. But mine's going to be in there for a few hours until my son gets home because he loves rolling it out. And not only... Oh, hi. Hi, Bridget. I have a friend. I'm so excited, you guys. That's what it's looking like. Um, how are you, Bridget? I haven't spoken to you for a while. Honestly, I haven't been on YouTube that much. I'm trying to get back into it. I kind of didn't want to do a live today, but I'm like, I've got to make the pasta anyway. Maybe you guys might be interested. I miss you guys. Okay, so it's starting to come together. We might need to add a little water, but we'll just go a little longer first. Um, yeah, so my son loves rolling out the pasta dough, so if I do it without him, he'll be devastated, and if I do it with a toddler, I'll be devastated, so we'll just wait till he gets home. So I'm going to add a little bit more water, and then um, I'm going to roll it out on my beautiful stone bench top. I don't want it to get too sticky. I think that'll do. Carol Baskin piece. What is that? That sounds very crafty. A little bit more. And that'll do. The rest of it will roll out. You can always add water to if you're rolling it out and it still feels it's too dry, you can just I would run my hands underwater and then just keep kneading it with wet hands. That way you don't add too much. And again, if it's too sticky, just add a little bit more flour as you need it. So we are going to Ah, oh, Tiger King. 
No, I haven't actually. I have seen news articles pop up about it, so I know that there is a thing. Oh, hold on, I'll just, I've just put flour all over my laptop. Just lift you up there. I know there is a thing called Tiger King, but I don't know anything about it. I'm guessing it's um, a guy and a tiger. I, I have read some things about, um, I don't know whether it was tax evasion or, or something like that, but I know living under a rock. All right, turn it all out. I do sometimes songs come on the radio and my husband goes, oh, you've got to know this song. And I'm like, oh, if the Wiggles haven't sung it, then no, I don't. <laughs> I do feel at the moment in this stage of my life that I do kind of live under a rock. But that's okay. That's what you do when you have little ones. And then when they grow up, you go, wow, there's a whole world out there. Oh, okay. All right, I can't wait to see that one. Even if I don't know anything about him, it sounds interesting. A lot more, yes. Yeah, well, there are different wiggles now too. I actually kind of like them. I didn't at first, but um, we've still got Anthony in there. So, yeah, this is my day, kneading dough, talking about the wiggles. I'm looking forward to not having the song in my head at 1 a.m., you know, ready, steady, wiggle. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Whoa, that is gross. Okay, I still kind of want to know more, especially about the power of attorney and stuff. That's Because I used to work in banking, I find, you know, forged documents and power of attorneys and things like that kind of interesting. Very weird person. So when's, your, um, when's that video coming out, Bridget? I'm just reading that, that sentence over and over. <laughs> All right, this is feeling pretty good. I'm just going to eat a little bit more. So quiet in my house right now. When you get some, oh my goodness, I'm so there with you, especially being winter at the moment over here. You see all of these, um, all my YouTube friends in America with their beautiful spring videos and coming into summer. And it's like, yeah, I just don't want to get out of bed over here. But I guess that was them a few months ago, right? All right, so that is looking pretty nice. So it's nice and it's just, it's firm and it's pretty smooth. Doesn't feel crumbly, doesn't feel sticky. So that is good to go. So I'm gonna cling wrap that. Cling wrap out and put it in the fridge. And we got it done, which, what's the time? Yeah, my son's gonna wake up any minute now, so I won't start the mince, um, but that's okay. I'll do it this afternoon when I roll out the dough. We'll have a yummy lasagna tonight. So that's it all done. Ready? Had to change your walking times. Yeah. I've been wanting to walk to the, the um, drop my son off to school, which is a 3.6K round trip. And every morning, like my son, my youngest, wakes up at 4.30, and then every morning I'm like, not, not this morning. I haven't done it yet. I've picked him up. I've walked down to pick him up, but I really just... I need to get my butt into gear and just go and do it. Oh, I'm really happy with that pasta. It's feeling amazing. So how are you going today, Bridget? I'll talk to you a little longer since you went to the trouble to come and visit me so that I didn't have to talk to myself. I'm just cleaning up. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much. It's just too much, especially with hills. On the way there to school, it's okay, but on the way back, it's like, oh, especially pushing a pram with like a 40-kilo baby in it. At least that's what it feels like. Uh, but I actually joined a local boot camp, and I've been doing that, which gets my butt 
out of the whole slothfulness, they call it, and get some blood pumping, which is really annoying and painful and horrible at the time. But then afterwards, you feel much better. I went this morning, actually, and I have more energy than I normally have. Oh, well, let me know if you actually do it or if you if you want a better video because I just thought I'll, I'll do it in chat, but um, it can be that simple. After this live, I'll post the, um, the ingredients and method and everything down below, and hopefully that makes it easy. It's actually easier than you think. The hard part is rolling it out. Um, I've got a pasta roller. I used to roll it out by hand, but you'd never quite get it thin enough. Oh, no. Oh, the poor thing. Yeah, yeast is just, it's very sensitive. I can't even grow plants normally. This one, this little guy is still alive. This could be like a proof of life video. I've had that for a couple of months. He's still alive. He is green, you can't really see. Okay. Um, I'm also, later in the week, I'm going to make a coffee sponge cake for my mum's birthday. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to film that one, though, because I do have a few videos I've filmed and haven't popped up. I don't know. Is that something you're interested in, Bridget? Anyone else who may be watching this later, let me know if I should film it or not. My coffee's a bit of an acquired taste. I'm not really a coffee person, but I am a cake person, and I'll make the exception for the cake. Not really coffee, yeah. Uh, carrot cake. Okay, I haven't done a carrot cake. Still none at the shops. Is this self raising flour? Or yeast, actual dry yeast? No, actually, I haven't seen any yeast at the shops. Hmm. I've never tried to make my own, though. Good on you. Even if it didn't work out, you still try. I'm pretty sure mine wouldn't work out. Yeah, yeast. Hmm. I guess everybody was going to make bread. Maybe they thought they wouldn't get bread, so they'd make it. Okay, so you got stuff raising flour. So it gives you some options. Make some scones, some damper. You did make scones, actually, didn't you? Well, you were going to. I don't know why I got a rolling pin out. I'm not rolling it yet. I'm just gonna, I'll be right back. Let me see any style of Southern biscuits. They sound amazing. So I've been meaning to ask you, Bridget, because you went to America last year. Um, what is crema? Is that just milk that they have in their coffee? Everyone's, you know, like crema. I've, I've seen it on so many things. And I've been meaning to ask an Australian who's been to America who knows what we have in our coffee. Because I just, yeah, it just... There's my clock, it's 12 o'clock. Top of, oh, okay. I'm just donging. Okay, so they literally are kind of having cream in their coffee. That must be expensive if it's the top of the, the milk, isn't there so much? Because I know my mum has cream in her coffee, like just thickened cream, and whenever she goes to a cafe, she's got to try and make sure they've got it because most people don't. They've got like whipped cream for serving with cakes and lots of different types of milk. But, um, yeah, there's only so many that have actual cream. 
So creamer is like a thick milk-like cream. Oh, okay. Service station. Ah, and coffee. All right. I would like to go to America since I have all these YouTube friends there now. Be nice to see them in person. All right, well, I might uh, finish cleaning up while Munchkin Pie is having a nap. So I'm going to go. Thank you so much, Bridget, for coming along and anyone else who's there that may not have wanted to comment or will watch later. It's really good to get back into the YouTube thing after taking about a week off because it's just it's so hard. Even though you love it, you just, oh, thank you so much, Bridget. I can't wait to actually meet you in person because we don't live that far away. And you're like the only YouTuber in Australia that I really know is in my area. I, I have a few that I know in Melbourne and Sydney, but we can't even go there at the moment. <laughs> so I'll see you later. Take care, okay? Bye-bye.